So this past Sunday, we had an amazing moment post-race for NASCAR. We saw one of the greatest, most well-known athletes in the world go to victory lane for his very first time. Let's talk about Michael Jordan and why he is so important to NASCAR. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, comment your thoughts on this video plus any improvements I can make on the channel. If you're clicking on this video, you probably saw Michael Jordan got his first trip to Victory Lane at Talladega Super Speedway this past Sunday. It was a phenomenal moment for the sport. We saw Michael Jordan holding Tyler Reddick's son, Bo, as he walked into Victory Lane and as he was celebrating on Pit Road. It was a fantastic, heartfelt moment for the sport, but also a very viral moment when it comes to NASCAR. Let's give a little bit of background information on this. Of course, Michael Jordan, everybody knows Michael Jordan as this NBA legend, probably the greatest basketball player who ever lived. Some people would even consider him the greatest athlete that's ever lived. Michael Jordan, of course, being raised in the South, was actually a big fan of NASCAR growing up. He's always had such a huge interest in the sport, and when he finally had the opportunity to become an owner of the sport, he jumped at the opportunity just a few years ago, partnered up with current driver Denny Hamlin to start up 2311 Racing. They ended up signing Bubba Wallace as their first driver, later Kurt Busch, later to be replaced by Tyler Reddick. Ever since the inception of 2311 Racing, we've seen Michael Jordan at the racetrack a few times, not a bunch, but over the last year, ever since he sold his ownership rights when it comes to the Charlotte Hornets, We've seen him at a bunch of races, which has been really exciting to see such a legend at the racetrack week in and week out. I'm pretty sure last year he showed up to every single playoff race, except for maybe Phoenix. That was pretty cool to see. And 2311 Racing has won a couple of races since their inception. A couple with Bubba Wallace, Kurt Busch has won for them, Tyler Reddick has won a couple of races as well. But in all those victories... Michael Jordan was not at the track for any of those victories. There was even a little bit of an inside joke going on between Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan claiming that he was bad luck to the race team. But I guess you could say at Talladega Super Speedway, the Jordan curse was broken. Thank you all. Your love has broken the curse and freed my soul. So now Michael Jordan is a NASCAR winner. He was a winner before, but now we've seen him in the celebration. And he was pumped. I even saw him getting into a car, leaving the track, telling one of the members of 2311 Racing that they're going to get wasted on the plane. Like, really wasted. I want to get chocolate wasted. And I just, I love to hear that. I love to see that. Michael Jordan has a real passion for NASCAR, and it's great to see. But let's get to the big question. Why is this important to NASCAR, that Michael Jordan is winning in the sport? Well, I briefly touched on it earlier. Michael Jordan is one of the biggest superstars in the world. Michael Jordan can literally walk anywhere in the world you will recognize him. He could be in America, India, Australia, China, Japan. If he's walking in the streets anywhere, there's going to be a whole crowd of people circling around him immediately. Michael Jordan is what you would call an icon. And that moment on Sunday couldn't get much more iconic. Tyler Reddick crossing the line in the Jordan-branded car at one of NASCAR's most iconic racetracks, Talladega Super Speedway, with Michael Jordan celebrating on pit road with Tyler Reddick's son, Bo. These videos of Michael Jordan's celebration, plus his interview, it was crazy that Fox Sports was even able to get an interview with Michael Jordan post-race. Michael Jordan must have been in a fantastic mood to give that interview because it's well known that Michael Jordan doesn't really do a lot of interviews. But all the videos and all the pictures and the interview in Victory Lane has been all over social media, all over sports channels and sports programming. This is a really big deal for the sport to see Jumpman in Victory Lane. But it's not just eyes and fans it gets on the sport. 
It also gets a lot of investors as well. Like I said, Michael Jordan is an icon, but he's not just an icon, he's also a brand. And now I could see multiple brands jumping, clamoring out the opportunity to get on the number 45 car, to get on the number 23 car, and a lot just getting involved with NASCAR in general. Because I think this is going to open up a lot of companies' eyes when it comes to NASCAR. Because I feel like over the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of sponsors that have been around the sport for such a long time leave. And I think this moment could potentially bring sponsors of that sort back. Because if you look at the cars now, you see a lot of sponsors on the car and you're like, huh? Who are they? Huh? What's that brand? Huh? I feel like there's a lot of brands on cars now that a lot of people don't really recognize. Because the way the sponsorship model works in NASCAR now is completely different than the way it worked 10, 15, 20 years ago. That's why you've seen a lot of these long-lasting sponsors leave, like a UPS, like Home Depot, like Lowe's, M&M's. But I think an event that we saw on Sunday, seeing Michael Jordan in victory lane, such a huge viral moment for NASCAR, we could potentially see some sponsors of that sort begin to make their return to the sport. So my final thought on this is this is one of the biggest moments that NASCAR has had virally in quite a while. We had the moment at Atlanta Motor Speedway with that epic finish. But other than that, I'd say the last big viral moment was Ross Chastain riding the wall at Martinsville. And overall, this last weekend at Talladega Super Speedway was a viral weekend, but mainly because of Michael Jordan making that first trip to victory lane getting a lot more eyes on the sport but give me your thoughts in the comment section what did you think of the race at talladega super speedway and the post race involving tyler reddick and michael jordan also give me your thoughts on michael jordan's involvement in the sport do you like to see michael jordan at the track more interacting with nascar fans and the nascar community also would you like to see potentially more superstars invest in the sport of nascar when it comes to an ownership role but that'll do it for this video my name is kyle aka racing boy short saying peace 